everybody we're going to talk about jump rope today and how to teach your child how to jump rope uh, first thing that that we should talk about is rope uh, I'm just using a piece of rope uh, this one's 10 feet long with our younger uh, children our five and six year olds usually they start with a seven foot rope and as they get taller we'll use longer ropes and, and I usually let them choose usually they have a pretty good sense of what's working for them sometimes the young ones want a longer rope than they're ready for but we just kind of work it out and if they feel more comfortable with an eight footer than a seven footer we just let them jump with whatever feels good to them uh, now I'm, this is 10 feet long so i'm going to wrap it around my hands a little bit and uh, i want to talk about uh, when how we evaluate when we are when we're assessing where somebody is in their jump rope skill the first thing that we look at is it's either going to be their arms or their legs, and, and they kind of operate differently. It's very interesting, and that's how we evaluate it. So let's talk about legs. Uh, our level one jumpers, when they try to jump, they'll jump, but it's mistimed, and they won't be able to get over the rope yet. Our level two jumpers will be able to do, they might do one, two, and then they'll get stuck, and they won't be able to get to three jumps. Our level three jumpers in the legs, you'll notice that their heels come up behind them and they'll do kind of a high level jump and uh, that their ground contact's gonna be loud and it's, it, uh, it's very fatiguing to jump that way and they usually aren't able to sustain too many of those jumps. And so our highest level is level four and those kids have what I call bounce and they've just got a nice controlled, very efficient bounce that they use for their jumping. When we look at the arms, uh, we see it in our level one arms, there's a tendency for the kids to come up here and hold the rope here and swing it down very fast, too fast for them to jump. We call this wood chopping. And, uh, and we have to find some ways to slow them down. And uh, I'll talk about that in a moment. Uh, level two jumpers in the arms, their hands are gonna be migrating up and down a lot so it might be shoulders to hips it's a lot of hand movement and then our level three jumpers and that's our top level you'll see those hands smooth out and they stay kind of low so let's talk about some of these beginning jumpers um, first it uh, I, it's hard to know what comes first their inability to judge a rope or how fast the rope is going so we try to get them to slow the rope down and a couple ways of doing that. The first thing that we start with is what we call pull-pull, where they pull on the back of their legs. And then, uh, and uh, the cue that I like to use for this is capital A arms. So after pull-pull, I like their arms to go down in this shape so it, it resembles the letter capital A. And that is gonna slow them down. Now, the, uh, a couple of tricks to get them to slow down and, and some beginning moves. The first one is just to do, to raise our toes and do a simple toe catch, just like this. Raise them up. And once they can do that, they can actually reverse this and catch it with the heels in behind. And they can alternate uh, toes and heels and toes and heels. Once they're pretty comfortable with that, you'll notice that they can't do that unless they slow the rope down. And so it's really helping them to get more control of that rope speed. Uh, once they can do that, I like to have them just step through. And as best laid plans are, some kids just refuse to step through and they want to go right to two foot to two foot jumping. That's fine. But sometimes that's married to ropes that are going too fast. And so they're, they're in a rush to do it the way that they might see somebody jumping that's a little bit more proficient. But they, they really do need to slow down and learn to get that rope going a little bit slower. Once they have the hang of it and they can, if I can get them so that they have those slow capital A arms, then they start to be able to jump the rope and, and two jumps leads to four jumps leads to 10 very, very quickly. Uh, the two patterns that we start with are what we call salt, which is a, a jump bounce pattern like this, and that's gonna look like this. And then, uh, and some kids will happily start with salt, uh, but some kids start with what we call pepper, which is a, a single jump pattern. And that looks like this. And both of those are great to start out. Once they have both of those, I like to build patterns. 
Uh, so we'd go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And we, we, we build on patterns, we do crisscrosses. They can start doing tricks and whatnot. And, and uh, as, as, uh, as they get better at jumping, it's really fun if you can have it. We introduce partner jumping and lots of other fun stuff. I hope this helps you and have fun uh, teaching your child how to jump rope.